This is 3FM. I believe I've actually uh, gained some significant uh, political experience these last five years, uh, which has probably been one of the most difficult administrations that we've had for the last 30 years. And uh, through the various different roles that I've done in government, uh, which including right up to now, which is uh, Minister for Economic Development, I believe I've been proactive and uh, had a positive contribution. In our constituency, what I would like to see is really a boost in tourism. Uh, the area is known for in past for uh, very significant tourism and I believe we've got uh, what would be one of the most scenic parts of the Isle of Man and uh, the one area in particular which I wanted to highlight is the old marine biosite in Port Erin and uh, I believe it uh, the time has come for government to step in and actually create what should be a national marine centre celebrating our newly accredited uh, designation from UNESCO which is the World Biosphere so fantastic accreditation I believe that is a perfect location it could be a boost for not just tourism and leisure but I also think it could be for education environmental and enterprise all focusing on marine activities. Secondly, uh, I believe that we could also have more health and uh, care services within our community using the old and the new Southlands uh, facilities which are excellent facilities and uh, could actually help, help our, uh, our, uh, our older people. But I do believe that we need to do more to actually try and generate businesses in the area. We have a vibrant uh, retail uh, interest in both ports which is positive uh, but I'd like to see more, uh, more, more uh, businesses as they're located in the area. On a national level, uh, for me, it, it's actually where I am right now in terms of the role I'm doing, and that is about the economy. Uh, if we have a positive growing economy, uh, that will be a real benefit uh, for all the Isle of Man. And uh, we can talk about uh, welfare in many different ways, education, health, etc. Uh, but without a positive growing economy, it's very difficult to, to fund that. So I believe that needs to be the primary focus going forward. And uh, we do have a strong economy now, but what we want as an economy that is beneficial to all. When I arrived as minister, basically there was a lot of work done, a lot of money spent, and uh, what we did do is actually test the market. And we determined at that time that the World Series was not right at this particular time. However, we believe that uh, that should be shelved and we should concentrate on the local event and bring, and bring in some expert uh, external advice and uh, expertise that will help benefit and grow, the, grow that, uh, that business. It's probably been the most difficult administration. They've had to make really tough, tough decisions. And, uh, and I would say that uh, they have managed to achieve. And uh, whilst there have been some diff unwelcome decisions made, uh, that has allowed us to get to a uh, balanced revenue budget now. And uh, they have tackled a number of different areas with regards to the MEA uh, debt. We've tackled the other issues with regards to the public sector pensions. And we're really uh, being prepared to take on the bigger issues. And I think that's what you want going forward you need to continue with that so I believe we laid a very very good foundation for what is uh, a very positive uh, outcome and you mustn't forget this has all been done in the backdrop of a budget reduction with regards to the VAT loss the banking crisis uh, that we're still we've been feeling the, uh, the, the the effects of and we've managed to keep the growing economy unemployment is one of the lowest levels since uh, 2008 and I've managed to in the last two years increase the minimum wage twice up to nearly 10% so I'm delighted that uh, I, I, with that performance. Education is something that uh, I feel very strongly about because investing in our young people is investing in our future. And uh, I'm delighted that we've managed to uh, secure the deal with the nunnery and the uh, ICT that we've now got a partnership arrangement uh, that is going to create new opportunities for our young people going forward in an industry is the fastest growing industry for us here on the Isle of Man. So that's one area. We've done also done similarly uh, work with regards to education in the uh, vocational space of engineering where we tripled the number of apprentices. And uh, vocational is the one area that I believe we need to do more work with. And we're rolling out several new apprenticeship schemes in the next uh, few months, which are really going to be, I think, uh, very attractive and give uh, wider opportunities for our people to stay here on the Isle of Man and be employed.
I, I've always said uh, that I would do any job that I've been asked of, and I have done that. I've been in Department of Community, Culture and Leisure. I've been uh, Chairman of the Arts Council, I've been Chairman of the uh, Planning uh, Committee, uh, Minister of Infrastructure, and now, of course, Minister uh, in, in Economic Development for the last two and a half years. So I've really done any job that I've been asked of, and uh, should the, the good people of Russia return me, then I'll do uh, whatever job my uh, peers would like me to do. More music for the Isle of Man. 3FM.